This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from today's iPhone.com. Welcome to this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday where I cover all the latest jailbreak news. Now without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. So starting us off, this week City received an update, but the update was only to remove an old line of code that was an April Fool's joke. So on our end, the user's end, we won't notice anything. Now next story this week is Firecore's update to allow a 5.1 tethered jailbreak on Apple's second generation TV devices. This does not work with the third generation, it should not be attempted, and remember, it's tethered, so you're going to have to plug it into your computer and boot to tethered in order to use the jailbroken stuff that you've put on your Apple TV. So finally some news has come out regarding iOS 5.1 and its jailbreak with A5 and A5X devices, and it's not good. Pod2G made it very simple to understand that it's going to be weeks before us users have a tool to allow us to do it. So stay tuned to todaysiphone.com, we will update you as soon as the jailbreak is released. So finally wrapping us up this week, the Tweak of the Week winner is Swipeback. Now you actually can't get it from the main repositories, so I've left you the link down below. It is in beta, but it basically allows you to swipe through the navigation panes on your iPhone, swiping rather than having to press buttons. So go check it out, swipe back. And if you guys want to get in contact with me, all my social network links are down below. So that's going to wrap up Jailbreak Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day and peace.